option to get rid of a migraine is medication. But our next guest says the best way to start treating a migraine is to find out what's causing it exactly. And that cause can be different from person to person. Here to share the treatment that finally got rid of her migraines and the doctor who did it, please welcome Dr. Helio Arroyo and his patient Bailey Glass along with her mother, Becky. All right. <laughs> And Dr. Arroyo is with Energetic Wellness Consultants. Okay, so um, this all started for you, Be uh, Bailey, as a just a very, or uh, Becky, as a very um, freak accident as a child. You were five years old. What happened? Um, I fell backwards in my driveway, and then we went to Mar Herman, and they sent me ten days with a fractured neck, and they sent, me, and then we went to St. Luke's. And then they took me to Texas Children's for yeah. 31 days. No, at first I thought it was a concussion. And it turns out it, it was, was something. A fractured neck. Yeah, it was a fractured neck. Okay, so Becky, as a mom, you're thinking, oh my gosh, right? Yeah. Because uh, what happened for her after that was there's the initial injury, and then what she's living with beyond that. Correct, yeah. I mean, they, she uh, walking around 10 days with a fractured neck. Uh, when her head had fallen, she was using her shoulder to hold her head up, pinched her spinal cord, so kind of all kind of damage. So when we got to the pediatrician, stabilized, it sent us to St. Luke's. Um, St. Luke's did a CAT scan and found out, yeah, it was a fractured yeah. neck. All right, Dr. Arroyo, here's the deal. Um, so many times we look at migraines as something that people just treat with medication, but you say if you do the, the work and find out what's causing those migraines, so this was a part of it, but there were some other things going on with her as well. So let's talk about when she came in uh, as a patient, how you addressed it and how you would address anyone who comes in and says, I suffer from migraines. Well, I think Bailey has a brave young lady that has gone through an amazing journey uh, of endurance and uh, uh, not only survival, but of, you know, uh, how it's a healing process. We're talking about five years when it happened now, it's 10 years later. Yeah. So a lot of suffering, a lot of uh, metal in their bones to try to fix things. But really, um, they, you know, migraines is a perfect storm. Uh, when you have a few things happening at the same time, you can have migraines. So she had an imbalance or a, um, uh, mal a, a I guess, a poor alignment of a special bone right. in the head that is called the sphenoid bone. Right. She's, so putting stress uh, on that. She, they put stress on that. Uh, she, you, you got to have a genetic predisposition. So you got to look at specific genes. You got to look at methylation, which is the biochemical process that happens yeah. in all cells. You only collect DNA. And we collect DNA. Uh, so part of the so what do we do? Well, we look at that imbalance on that bone. We collect DNA. Uh, we look at food sensitivities. We look at the biochemistry. Yeah. And I want to back up to the food sensitivity one because mm -hmm. that was the one that's like, it seems like lately that's come up for a lot of people and people not understanding that certain foods truly do cause inflammation, which trigger things in the body. Correct. And it says the body's in trouble, but how your body reacts to food may be different from person to person too. Right. And after the four genome, uh, four million genome project. But we know all the genes in the body and it, you know foods are not necessarily bad for you or for me there they can be an inflammatory trigger based on your genetics so that's why it's so important to do genetic testing before we say well these foods you shouldn't eat yeah. well sometimes we hear people say if i have diet drinks i get a migraine or if i have chocolate i'll get a migraine so they're obviously the body is, is reacting to things so bailey how were you dealing with your migraines before you met dr arroyo uh, they're painful and they last like eight hours and I couldn't see, everything was blurry. I would be shut down for eight hours. You missed out on life. Oh, you yeah. literally were missing out on life missing and school. in pain. Yeah, missing school, which is very tough. All right, so Dr. Arroyo, when you looked at all these things for her, that made the difference, Bailey? I haven't had one since August. Since August? Yeah. Since you've been out. And before, how often were you having migraines? Three. Two to three times a week. Two to three times. So you're just completely missing out on everything. Oh, yeah. and, and Becky, I would imagine to, to watch your baby who, first of all, had to deal with this, this injury to begin with and to see her missing out and nothing you can do yeah. about it. Nothing you could do about it. So, and now, now. you're getting yeah. your daughter back. Yes, absolutely. We have tried um, so many medications, so many doctors, ear, nose, and throats, neurologists, uh, so many things. And, and yeah, she was missing a lot of functions, a lot of birthday parties, a lot of school. A lot hard of, to plan for things. Yeah, it was really hard. I mean, we not, yeah, had to leave a lot of things and go home and lay down for a couple hours and sleep or, you know, find something to relieve it. Yeah. So it's, it's wonderful. Can't thank Dr. Roy enough. Well, thank you. And it's, uh, like I said, she's, uh, uh, she's, uh, 
just a raw model on uh, the bravery that she, uh, you know, that she has showed in order to have this journey of healing. Uh, yeah. We can be more proud than to be able to help uh, beautiful young kids like uh, youngsters like yeah. her that has all the life ahead of her and we're able to you know you cannot have migrants if you remove the main causes of migrants so yeah. we don't treat the migrants per se but we er eliminate those causes that trigger those migrants what kind of patients should come to you because i know there's somebody watching right now that either knows somebody or they are that person who suffers from migraines so who should consider coming to you well anybody that suffers from migrants or migrants you know uh, you could say that all headaches are migrants but migrants are very specific they're mm -hmm. very excruciating in pain you know we have usually females more than men although we have some males as well that have migrants but uh in general terms anybody that is between uh, 12 years old that's when the migrants start up to 60 years old yeah yeah I just want to let people know too they've seen you on the show uh, before uh, dealing with eye issues as well so mm -hmm. you kind of deal with a number of things of in the way to heal people holistically Correct. all right dr. Arroyo has a special offer for great day viewers free initial consultation when you enroll in the program that's for the first 25 callers only to schedule your appointment at their office or for more information call this number it's 281-419-3355 281-419-3355 419-3355 or visit them at migrainesnomore.com. I think that says it all. Migrainesnomore.com. Congratulations on feeling better.